I guess it's that time of year again where I jump back into some ones games after a long hiatus. I've already done my placement matches on stream and I placed immediately in Supersonic Legend, but we're going to see if we can make it to the top 100 leaderboard today. I'm going to be very rusty, but hopefully you can still pull some information for your own gameplay and ones from these matches. Let's see how the games go. Let's get right into it. All right, game number one, we got feed. We got 12 ping. Oh my goodness. Let's see how it goes. All right, go 50 50. Let's probably get this back corner. Let's sit with this. Uh, avoid bump as well. Sitting very close to the ball, but this should be open now. As long as I snipe it. I know he was pretty low there, so I'm just trying to make sure I don't overcommit. Because he's the one who's in a stressful situation when he's low boost. So I'm just trying to make sure I stay uh, composed with the amount of boost I had. I'm going to wait to see what he does with his catch. Had to wait until he landed with the ball. I got some space. Got 100 boost now. I should be okay. Not the greatest first touch. Oh. That's fine. A little scary, but should be all right. I, I actually was, it was actually better I didn't touch that ball. If I did touch that ball, it was in the net. It's a good high touch from him. It's probably gonna be a goal too. So I tried for the air dribble bump and I didn't get uh, quite a good touch on it. Quite enough, good enough touch to uh, get it over him and go for the bump. I could have probably went for a musty there instead because it was a pretty low ball and he's pretty far away. But I need to make sure I stay composed because I kind of messed up my first few touches. Should be okay. There we go. Go for the touch here. Go for this boost as well. Got the boost. He wasted a lot of boost to get to there. But I know he's low. He's probably going to go for a flick or something. There it is. I'll fake the boost to grab and then go for this corner. That makes him have to stay around because he, he thought he might, might have a chance at the ball. It's a very interesting 1v1 so far. Oh. Yeah, he got really caught in position there. I'm not really sure what happened. I, th I think he... Yeah, he tried to pop it towards the boost, and then I took the boost. He missed the uh, catch on the corner. But it was a good try for him to try and keep possession. I'm going to go for a straight kickoff here. It tends to work pretty well on that, that middle one. He touches his back. See what he does. I bump him. Once again, he's very low here. I think of that back corner boost. So he, has now, he now has full. I'm going to go over here instead. I'm pretty low boost here, but I can probably still make a play. It's a good save. He has to stay with the ball because it's over his net. Let him stay with this again. There we go. Just forcing him into a position where he has to uh, touch the ball. That might be fast enough. It wasn't the greatest of shots. I knew I had an open net. I just didn't sc score it as, as fast as I would want it to. The thing about 1v1s and playing them after a really long time is you 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 forget how to like score certain things that are open only in ones because obviously uh, in other game modes like shooting that ball there is is not really uh, a good opportunity. It's just going to give the ball away. There's most likely a player in net, but with ones you have to just be used to uh, going for like really weird open shots, uh, which is fine. I just don't I don't like to practice it too much. I really show it for mid boost there. I'm just going to get myself stuck in, stuck in mid here. This could be open net here. All right, do beat him. I'm going to let him go for the save here because it's already on target into in net. It's fine. He's going very, very aggressive on the, uh, the bumps and attacks and stuff. Should be open again. I bumped him really, really far out of the play. Not my greatest game so far, but we are still in the lead, so it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm not sure what rank this guy is. He's probably SSL because I'm in SSL, but it was a long queue. And I think I have played this guy before. I don't think that's in. Oh, it is in. <laughs> I, I just I just had to assume. If I if it wasn't in, uh, then I can go for that corner boost. If it is in, it's already in, so it doesn't really matter. Interesting play. Oh, good bump. 
I'll wait for that boost pad before I flip. It's a decent 50 50. I should be able to get back still. Nah, that's a good shot. Really aggressive challenge for me. I tried to play his bluff and, and see if he would uh, go a little bit higher on the ball. Didn't work out though. I should be able to get the boost here. It's like the first kickoff in a while that I've actually won. Don't think that's it. Is that my net? Ooh, we both thought it was like gonna bounce a little differently. Should be okay. I'll stay with the boost here. Couldn't quite get the angle. I went a little bit off mark, but could still be in. Man, I am so slow in ones right now. It is crazy. <laughs> I need to really uh, step up my game. That's what happens when you don't play ones for, for a really long time, though. All right, good 50-50. Gonna bounce out mid. Go for a shot. He has to save it awkwardly because he's low boost in net. I know that. I'll let him go for this touch into me. All right, it gets the boost in the corner now. I'm just being really annoying. That's that's the way to play in ones. Yeah, I can get this mid boost. Spawn now. I pop it over. He's gonna probably force this back. There's not much time on, on the clock left, so I avoid the bumps here. Should be okay. Just waiting for him to try and go for the bump play. Should be too fast for him, and there we go. All right, so we're warming up a little bit. I think he left the game, so that's gonna be the first game uh, on the, on the video. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can start warming up. I I definitely need to uh, play a little faster. If we get a a, a higher level opponent, um, it's definitely gonna be a lot more tough. A lot more tough. A lot tougher. <laughs> Even my brain's not warmed up. Okay, it's it, it's it's coming. Okay, we're we're gonna get there. All right, we finally got game two after like ten minutes of queuing, and unfortunately in the last game we didn't even get to see the rank of feed because he left so early. So. Hopefully in this one we can see what play uh, what players are playing. I'm gonna go for the far shot very fast here. It's fine. I get the boost. It's a good bump. Try to stay up, stay near the ball here. It's fine if he shoots that. Bumped him off the boost too, so we got some space. I don't think I shot it on target though, unfortunately. I tried to rush that because he was going for it. Once again, almost on target again. Surprised he's staying so close. I'm pretty sure he's very low here. Yep. He's extremely low. So I'm just gonna grab the boost here. Now we got some space. I'm gonna take this off target first. Actually, he's coming really close. There we go. He was coming up really, really close to me, so I had to actually make change, make a change of my play. I was going to go wide, but if he does push up to me like that, I'm going to have to, uh, you know, have a, expect a challenge early. Surround him a little bit. Makes him have to save it into his net. That's really bad. Really bad shot. Definitely should not be popping it like that when he's uh, low boost. Uh, there's no reason to pop it up. I can keep it really close to me. That way, even if he makes a challenge with his flip, I can just go for the ball again. These straight kickoffs, I'm just going to go very heavy into the middle. Should be fast enough. Didn't need to go too quickly too quickly on that one because I knew that if he went to the corner, it was in anyway. Just got to shoot it right on target. The further to the right, obviously, the better. Uh, but... Definitely knew it was going to be good for me. Nice little redirect to the side there. There's no way he can really expect that I'm going to flip reset to the left instead of like forward. Most people, when they flip reset, they go uh, straight. Like the shot just pops the ball higher. But he's already high up on the backboard anyway, so I just missed. It's actually okay though. Go for the boost. Pop it up nice and high. Why not? Um, so it's actually really good to go for those flip resets. Sorry, I'm just like continuing my train of thought there. It's really good to go for those uh, flip resets to the side if you can. 
Uh, it really scoops the ball when you don't expect it. He's going to get that boost for, uh, for me, even if I get that mid boost. So um, we're going to have to uh, make do with a pad in the back corner. So this game's going a lot more smooth than the first game. <laughs> we can tell that I'm a little a little more warmed up. I'm definitely playing a little better. I was in training for a good 10 minutes, so definitely definitely felt a lot a lot cleaner for me. I don't know. I, whenever I record, I just jump on. I don't really care about like how consistent I'm being. It's a good flip reset chance for him, but I did just wait for it. It's gonna be another shot. Just gonna sneak that in the bottom left. This is going very very smooth. I think this guy is SSL. I've, I think I've played him before. I'm not going to do the straightaway kickoff this time again. I'm just going to go to the, the left. His, his left side is not very strong, so I've, I've been taking advantage of that for sure. I just bumped him into Oblivion, so... You know what? Probably should have scored that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna challenge him. I'm, that's pretty stupid though, because he could definitely clear here and get a goal. Get a goal. Should be fine. And that was open too. See, like my my open nets just from far away are just not not on par right now. That is for sure. Wee, wee, wee. No. <laughs> oh, so dumb. Good shot from him. I had all the advantage and I just wasted it. I definitely could have uh, made a better chip there and popped it way over him. If you go really, really fast into that under the ball, it goes so high. And you can really surprise a player who's trying to posture close to the ball. That's gave him the ball for free. And yeah, it's in the net. Don't know why I made that pop. I thought he was going for the back corner boost. He just pushed up. I think he's just trying to get a little more aggressive because he's so down on goals. So I need to stop playing dumb and just take advantage of my possession. Let's take advantage of my possession. No, he bumped my double off. No. He's going to go for a bump here, probably. Whoa. I'm very low, but... Yeah. I, I don't know why I said but. I'm definitely just very low. He probably could score this. Oh, it's actually too close to the wall. Right, that's fine. He's definitely stepping up the aggression, though. It's fine. He's stuck in the net now. Messed up his his uh, recovery, and it's in the net. I, I can see it. once he pushes up like that, I can just score it. I mean, uh, it's been a pretty big uh, score lead this whole game, so I haven't been really b been playing like I don't know consistently, which is probably not good for me right now because I'm trying to. Uh, get back in form a little bit oh my god speaking of look at that incredible incredible form all right this is open okay good thing i can score it <laughs> oh my i am i am shaky right now not like nervous shaky just i mean like my my gameplay is not good i mean my hours have been the lowest they have been in a really long time i i just think that the game is kind of at a bit of a stale point uh for content uh in regular ranked oh my god what am i doing So I just I just like to do other custom stuff. Uh, custom stuff's definitely the most fun for me. Oh my goodness, that was open too. It's really annoying seeing all these openings and not scoring them. All right, quick turn around here. Oh, the save. And that's a good GG there. Uh, he, he actually stuck around, so I think um, we'll see the rank this time. I mean, I don't know why I said I think. We definitely will. Um, but yeah, he has SSL, so I expected that. I think Feed is also SSL, but we're definitely warming up a little bit more. I think we're going to get uh, climbing back into the top 100. I don't know if we are top 100 right now. I can go quickly check. So not quite. We're at 1503 right now, which means we just need 10 more points. So I think we could definitely climb back into the top 100 for this first video of, of uh, 1v1 in like, <laughs> I don't know, years. I'm kidding. It's not actually years. It's like probably like a few months, but... I, I don't really play once too often, and I really probably should, because as you can see, I'm getting a bit shaky. All right, we got number seven. Black profile. It's always scary. 
I wonder who this is. Should we alright? Should we stay with this here? Alright, very early aggression. So once they had the boost, they could tell that, that uh, it was a good time to challenge right away. So I need to play the 50-50s a little better. I'm going to grab this boost here. It's a good play. I can definitely tell this player is a lot better than the people I've been playing. So this is going to be a tough one. It's good. To be open here. That was a uh, really, really scary. I can already tell. I mean, you can probably tell as well. Just the, the consistency and the control this, this player has. I do wonder who it is, though. It could be hiding behind a, a front. Which a lot of players are doing nowadays. I'm not sure why. I just don't like to show who they are. I missed the boost, but should be all right. I did score top right, though. I had to score that. I mean, I didn't really have to. I'm sure that, that with, with that shot, the save wouldn't have been consistent enough to uh, really get a clear down the field fast enough. But pretty tough shot to save. I missed the, the mid boost, which would have made that a lot easier. But honestly, maybe if I got the mid boost, I would have went too fast because I had more boost. So I kind of, you know, maybe it worked out for me. I don't know. Go over him here and go around quickly. And there we go. So that's a, that's a one that's one thing that I really need to remember to do a lot. I just I just like locked in in my brain when I did this flick right here and I boosted like really quick over to the side. Uh, you can make a mistake of like not boosting there to get to the position, but if you if you don't, you won't be able to make it to that uh, that play fast enough. Uh, that's something that I definitely picked up in ones. I'm going to go around him here and get the boost across. Go for 50-50 here as well. He's going to get that back corner boost because of the way that he bumped me there. But um, Hopefully that's going to be a goal here. Yeah. Um, The way that he bumped me, I knew that he had a recovery faster than me to get that corner boost. So I just gave it up and went for the mid boost instead. I gambled there on that challenge with uh, the control. Uh, that he had off the wall and uh, went for an immediate challenge. That's a good play to the bottom corner there. I probably should have read that. He wasn't close enough to the ball um, to actually get a pop up. So I really just need to focus on the directional shot. Should have this and maybe a goal here too. Yeah, I just need to focus on um, my boosting into that shot before I shoot it. Um, you can really rush that. And mess up the control and the and the angle, but boosting into the position and air rolling properly is definitely going to give you the the advantage uh, to get that shot target. It's off corner. I actually had, once again didn't recover properly, so I'm going to have to just pop this up and then leave. I do like that he gave me the ball for free here. That's gonna be really bad though. He could he could have shot that actually. He messed up. That's a good shot. I shouldn't have uh, jumped so early. I could have re recorrected before I jumped and then got went for the uh, the save. But really good air dribble from him. Changing the direction quite a few times mid air. We both went for a corner 50-50. I tried to see what he was gonna do. I always try to mi uh, mimic uh, what uh, the opponent is doing. All right, this is this is gonna be good. Nice flick. Gives me a low boost. Force him up. It's fine. He panicked. Because he did a full double pop, I should have a free net here. But he really, really panicked that I was going to jump because he was low boost. I took that corner from him, and then he had to stay pushed up on it. But really, 1v1 is a lot about um, how much someone is flipping or not, which is really, really weird. Like, someone can take early advantage of, um, you know, someone flipping off the kickoff, for example. Like, if they flip again... It's going to be a lot easier for the other player to uh, go for the play. I'm going to fake this. He's going to jump for it. It's a good demo, but it should go up the wall. Hopefully, that's enough time for me. It's one on the wrong side, though. Oh, I shouldn't have went for the boost. I, I had enough to go for that. Um, to not have to go. I just panicked because I thought I was going to be spawning on the right side. Good. Put the ball here instead. I 
All right, should be open for us. Really aggressive challenge from him. Um, the reason why I left the ball rolling there is because if I try to stay controlled, I'm going to give away a lot of my position uh, by being closer to him where he has 100 boost in the corner. And putting the ball on top of my car isn't always the smartest idea because in that situation, he can just come up and challenge me or bait out the flick and then he can stay with the ball afterwards. So actually, it sometimes works out better to uh, uh, to just wait it out. I should have just went for the boost. And that demo might be okay. I think it's still open for him though. Yeah, it is. Um, I definitely played that wrong. I could have uh, gotten in the gotten in the way of that ball and then also uh, got away from the demo, but I didn't uh, space out enough. That's okay. We got a goal back, maybe. Oh, we do. <laughs> okay. I thought he was going to save that. It looked like he, it was definitely savable. Uh, he probably could have backflipped that up. I should have faked this one. So he actually did fake that ball really well. Oh, did he miss? No, he still scored it. See, I, I need to just back off there instead of forcing 50-50s because forcing 50-50s is going to be good for the person who has more boosts. So I'd rather not uh, force in the 50-50s over and over again. This could be bad. I'm not sure how I didn't move him at all. I think I, I, like, I smacked him, but nothing happened. The way that I say that off the post should be good for us. Hop it towards the backboard. Go for the boost. Is that in? That might be in. That is rough. I played that really well up until the point where he, he shot the ball. I probably could have popped it up. I tried to go up the wall and pop it. I don't think leading up the wall was a good idea for me, though. It's a high-scoring game. See how, see how I flipped and now he has the possession? I need to stop doing that because it's going to lead to uh, a lot of open goals for him. But I could read that he only had one option to score, and that was to go for the flip. So I just went a little bit, a little bit in the middle of the ball, and then flipped to the last second when he when he was going to flip, and we get the shot. So this has definitely been the most sweaty opponent so far. We have so many goals in this game; it's actually insane. I, I'm not used to this because you know in twos and threes you just have like you have like <laughs> just kept doing the same thing over and over again. Probably gonna get this boost for me. Never mind, he's not. fine. Just faked it. It's a good bump. I don't think he's going to be able to score it, though. He's really trying to push for an extra goal here. All right, now it's open. Um, but yeah, he was really trying to push for that goal. He had to get that goal there if he wanted to have a good chance at winning, but pretty good match. I don't know who that is. I'm probably going to check really quickly before, see if I can see who it is. Oh, and I queued again. Nope. See, there's so many people that are doing this nowadays. They just don't want to show who they are, so they just they just make their their profile pri like super private, and then hide all their names, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. But I mean, that is the nature of one v one. That's probably gonna be it for the video, though. Uh, for now, if you want to see more one v one stuff in the future, let me know. Uh, definitely, definitely feeling my roots <laughs> in some of this gameplay in this game. But uh, otherwise, I was I was pretty rusty, but. Hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely a good three wins there. I think that we really need to meet up against some really high up, high up players and and really get a taste of their their medicine uh, because I'm sure that I need to uh, get used to the high level gameplay again. But until next time, have a great day, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, and we're top 100. <laughs> Oops, forgot to say that.